Hey guys, Sam62 here and welcome back to another ScreenFlow tutorial. Sorry I've taken so long, there's been difficulties recently um, and I've been very busy. But um, uh, yeah, I'm back with another ScreenFlow tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you how to use the green screen effect properly in ScreenFlow 5. This also works for ScreenFlow 4, don't worry. Um, I'm not sure what ScreenFlow I'm using, I think it's 5. Yeah, I'm using ScreenFlow 5. Um, and I've, I've got a green screen here of a explosion. I just downloaded it off YouTube. Pretty simple. Uh, if you don't already know, a, a, a green screen, also a blue screen is quite common, but green screen is, is a more or less common color, so it works better. Um, and pretty much what it does is it's just used to, to cut moving images out of a background. So it's like a clear cut, except moving. And it's 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 really sweet thing to be able to do, especially for editing. Like if you're trying to edit an explosion onto something, or whether you're trying to edit, you know, you're in a studio or something, you just want to have a white background behind you, but then it, you want to edit like a picture or a video or something behind you as well. That's it's a really good way to do that sort of thing, and it makes editing so much easier and a lot more fun as well, um, and it looks a lot more professional. So uh, to do this, it's pretty simple. Here's the clip here of the explosion. I'm just going to go under the videos tab, then video filters, and add. Now it is called the chroma key. See, it's on my pop, it's on my top part there. Reminds me that I use it a lot. So chroma key. So just add that, and automatically it adjusts to the the more popular color, the the most dominant color on the video. Um, I'm going to adjust it a little bit to make it work even better because there are other colors on the screen which means it did slightly adjust to that so that's slightly better so now you can see I already had background in I had a white annotation and an awesome picture um, so when you cut the green out it looks pretty good so I'll just watch that now because it's doing quite a lot of hard work here it may generate a bit of lag now for me it's not too bad but uh, if you want to do this and make two explosions or have multiple green screen effects running, it looks really sweet, but it probably will add a fair bit of lag. So we'll just move that explosion there and that explosion there. Have a look. You gotta lift that up a bit. Maybe put this on up in the corner and uh, rotate it a bit. There we go. So it's a little more laggy, but when you export this, it will look perfectly fine. It will take quite some time to export, longer than normal videos, because it's, it's doing a bit of hard work here. It shouldn't add too much on, depends how long the green screen effect is. Um, but yeah, it looks really sweet once it's exported, as the frame rate is as high as you set it. So it, it looks really good. Obviously that is restricted by the original film, um, but yeah, it, it, it looks really sweet and it works really well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it actually. I really like this effect personally. I really like being able to use a green screen in this program. It's, it works fantastically. I'm discovering new things about this program on a daily basis. It's great. And uh, if you have any questions about ScreenFlow or need some help with it, just ask me in the description or private message me, whatever. I'll do my best to help. And uh, if you have any other questions about, you know, Macs and Windows and just, you know, just general help, um, let me know. I'm happy to help, happy to make a video on it. Just let me know and I'll do that. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Sammy62, out. Game on.